Welcome, welcome everyone to the Advanced Manifestation Community for Seasoned, on, on, seasoned man, Manifestors. <laughs> so the Advanced Manifestation Community for Seasoned Manifestors. Those of you who have been going at this a long time and you want it to be even better. So what I've got for you today is a hot freaking topic. I talk to people all the time that when I ask them this one question, they come back to me and they go, ah, uh, I really don't know. Okay. So if you are unclear about what you want to create in your life, this video is for you. And if you have a hard time getting clear about what you'd like to have for you, okay, I'm going to give you three questions today that will shift the way that you look at what you would like to have in your life. All right. So if you're here live, give me a big hello. And if you are watching the replay, hashtag replay so I can see um, what, who is, who, what you guys got going on. So first of all, are you clear about what you would like to create in your life, manifest in your life, have in your life? Okay. Are you clear? Are you crystal clear? Okay. If you are not, how is the universe supposed to respond to you? And when I talk about universe, I'm not talking about um, God or a person or something like that. What I'm talking about is your field of consciousness. Okay. The field of consciousness that, that is your reality. It's a quantum field that has these quantum entanglements, just like a big spider web. I like to think of it like a spider web. If you're not clear on what your spider web is, then you're going to get your subconscious creating your reality. Okay. Your subconscious is built of um, your past, sometimes past realities and lives and stuff like that. But your past, your parents' reality, your 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 past timeline, um, all of the beliefs in there, all of the emotions in there, um, and all of your experiences and what you're trying to avoid in order to feel comfortable and all of that sort of stuff. And that's a lot of times why we are not clear is because our subconscious identity is running the show in creating our external reality. And then people come to me and they go, but I want to have it better. I want to have it different. And I ask, okay, tell me, what would you like? Tell me. So tell me in the chat, what would you like? And if you can tell me in a sentence or two, you've got some level of clarity. Okay. So go ahead and share with me. So I've got a lot of, hi, Judith. Hi, Faith. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Julie. Hi, hi Melissa. Hi, Karen. Okay. Like things are keep changing. Faith. Hello. Hi, Jackie. Right. Okay. Welcome you guys. Okay. So if your things keep changing, that's a big clue that you're not clear. Okay. And, um, when we aren't clear, okay, what's happening is our, our ability to create and to manifest and to go non-linear, to go into the quantum field, to be able to have all we desire to show up as our reality is completely stunted if we're not clear, okay? But the thing is, most of what the linear model teaches for clarity and getting you know clear on what you want is to be really specific about the result. Well, that works for some people. If you're like, I want the house or some things. I want the house that has a da 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 and is in this place and whatever, or I want this one thing. Okay. If that works for you, great. Being really clear because some, some people it does work for other people. What getting clear is, is about getting clear about what you don't want. So the first question I'm going to give you today is what don't you want? Okay. And get really clear about what you don't want. Now, what I always learned, I don't know about you guys, but what I always learned in like law of attraction is like avoid everything you don't want because if you if you say it, if you bring it into your field, then you're going to get more of it. I don't find that to be true at all. I find that when I get really clear about what I don't want, I go, oh, if all of that is what I don't want, what is it that I do want? And it becomes much more clear in my world to be able to identify what I do want. And what I've started to realize about myself personally and so many of my clients is that because we're, we're avoiding this like stuff that we don't want or we're simply just not clear about what we would like, then what happens is we go around in these circling, cycling sort of spaces in our lives where we, we don't get much traction. 
right? We're not really having any momentum. We're not really moving forward, but we know that where we're at isn't really where we want to be at, but it's kind of really foggy, right? Okay, so let's read some of the comments here. On a harmonious relationships, yummy partner abundance, of course. Um, not crystal clear, clear yet, would like more fulfilling work. Okay, apartment 417, Madeline Oaks, waiting patiently. <laughs> okay, um, uh, to have... Uh, and in, in, not to have to rely on my husband's income. I don't want to work in any office eight hours a day. Okay, that's really great. Like what Nicole is saying there. What are the specifics of what you don't want, right? And some of them for me personally were, I don't want to be tied, and this was years ago, I don't want to be tied to somebody telling me what to do for a job, right? I don't want to be like having a boss. I don't want to be location dependent. I don't want to have to go into an office every day. I will. I don't want to have to wear these clothes that I don't really want to have to wear anymore. I don't want to have to have to watch everything I do and everything I say in order to fit in somewhere, like for my jobs, relationships. I don't want to have to worry about if this person's telling me the truth or not. That was a big thing for me, right? So I started getting really clear about what I don't want. And when you do this, you start to see more about um, what it is you don't want. You can start asking the question, which is the second question, what is it that you do want that's not this? Okay, so if I want more freedom in um, the way I work to work my way, because I work um, very sporadically throughout the day, and I liked my own processes, I don't like set things, unless they're classes and things like this, but like to really use my creativity. So working under somebody else's timeline and somebody else's way of working doesn't really work for me, right? I need to have my own ability to create. I also need to have, I don't like people telling me to do, but what really is that? I like to make the decisions. I like to be at the top of the one sort of directing. Oh, when I got clear about that, I never had a job again, <laughs> a corporate job. I created, I started saying, I actually am more of an entrepreneur sort of um, uh, energy and uh, personality type that be working for other people. The reason I don't like being told what to do is because I like making the decisions. Well, if you're going to make the decisions, you need to be close or at the top. Okay. How, what's the fastest way to get to the top? Be the owner. Okay. And that's what I did after I uh, was actually let go from a job. I did a really great job and it was the biggest pivot point for me to really choose to own the fact that I want to be an entrepreneur and I want freedom. Okay. So here's some of the other ones. Um, not getting breadcrumbed or not chosen. I definitely want to travel the world uh, for a fun, not career. <laughs> I don't really know what that means, but okay, is that what you want? I don't want to be an employee. I don't want to walk into rooms and have a big stink of bad moods. Yeah. All right. So on the other side of it, then now that you can see what you don't want, what is it that's on the other side of that that you think it's going to be like if this isn't there anymore? Okay. Now I, I have done this a lot throughout my life. It's like, I don't want that anymore. What else is there? And it's almost like you just look the other direction and there's a whole nother set of possibilities. Well, if I don't want to walk in a, a room with people with bad moods, what else could there be? I'm walking in the room and there's nobody there. So it's all my energy or walking in the room and I'm not reactive to their energies. I claim my own sovereignty and my energy or walking in the room and I'm, I just fill my life up with generally happy or exuberant people. Okay. So then we go, okay, now we have two sides. We have contrast. We can see what we don't want and we can now see what we do. Now, one of the things that I find a lot of people sort of get stuck with is figuring out what the result is. Now we said before, some of you guys are really good with the exacts. But a lot of you guys are more energetic creators, less specific and more energetic. So what I would invite you to do is when you're when you're gaining this clarity, it may not be specific. It may be more energetic. So how do we do that? We look at, OK, well, what would it be like to be with a partner who honors you or what would it be like to be creating? Mine was 10 times more joy with somebody, a partner. Right. And I went, I have no idea what he would look like. I have no idea what part of the world he would be in. I have no idea what his life is going to be like. But what I do know is that us together creates 10 times a better life. OK, so then we can let go of the specifics and tune into the energies that we want to have and allow the energies to guide us. OK, now 
even with, um, and that's part of how I created my partnership with Ben and leading me here to Australia, because I started to notice all the things in the relationships that I didn't want anymore, but I also was looking at who I was being. Okay. And this is a, the third question. Who are you being that, well, there's actually like a number of questions in here, but who are you being about it? Now, if you're being like, I don't want this. And then you're being complainy and blamey and the sort of heavier energy is a victim, right? Then is that the version of you that's going to get you to having this reality and this change that you want to have? Likely not. So we've got to have this on some level identity shift that has the perspective shift to sh shift over into this other reality where your what you want, what you desire, what is more appealing to you actually shows up. Okay. So who am I being about this? And you can look at it both directions. You can look at it. How am I being about this? You might go, Oh, I'm just complaining about it. And I'm really being a victim to their energy or I'm being a victim to my circumstance. Ah, how do we know we're being a victim? Number one, we blame. Number two, it's kind of low level and you're complaining usually. Right. And then the third thing is it's all about them or it's all about the situation, right? Instead of going, Okay, I'm the one that chose this situation, or I'm the one that's continuing to choose this situation. I would like to have more money. I would like to have a better job. I would like to have more enjoyable partnerships. I would like to have better friends. I would like to have uh, be independent, um, uh, location independent, right? So we go, okay, so I actually chose and created all of this, oftentimes subconsciously, sometimes consciously, right? We thought it was what we wanted earlier in life, or we did it from our subconscious. But now we go, okay, so what if I can create what I want? Number one, get clear. If I don't want this, what is it that I do want? Write it all down. Okay. What will it be like? Okay. What do I, what do I want? And what will that be like? So you start going, oh, that'd be so much more spacious. Oh, that would be so fun to be traveling around and being able to work anywhere. That would be so fun to have plenty of money. I don't have to depend on anyone. That would be freeing. Okay get the energetics of that reality and then start looking at, okay, who have I been being and who do I need to be to match this reality? Because that's where we can talk about manifesting all day long. And this is why I call this group advanced manifesting because we aren't just trying to create one thing here and one thing there. And we have these roller coasters of manifesting. We want to create the internal shift that literally opens up your reality such that Everything that you ask for gets created. It's no longer, I'm going to go for this, or I'm going to go for this, or, you know, onesie, twosie third sort of things to sort of maybe have a highlight of your life. We want to create a magical life, right? How many of you guys are in for a magical life where you are being the version of you who has everything that you ask for received in your reality? You're being responsive as the version of you who has your best life. How many of you guys want that? And what would that be like to be able to have creation on demand, right? And this is where when we make these um, uh, sustainable and forever shifts within us, you can't go back to living the way you were because you're not that version of you anymore. And this is why having a quantum leap or an identity shift, an identity upgrade is the way to go because then you're no longer trying to get stuff outside. You're going within to say, who do I need to be to have that life? Not just that thing, that life, that experience of life. Okay. And this is one of the things we do in the transform yourself program is we, we go through <laughs> your whole reality. And we say, okay, who have you been being? What is this future self that has this magical reality? What is that timeline like? So we start discovering it. We start excavating everywhere you're attached to your old life. We start reprogramming your subconscious. We'll also start reprogramming your conscious mind. And then we start cleaning up some integrity stuff. And then all what starts to happen is all the stuff that you're like, I don't want that anymore. That starts going away. Now, one of the things that happens is that stuff goes away. It's like what you don't want starts going away, right? Now, how many of you right now, if, if the, and I know some of you have been in my programs, right? So you know what I'm talking about. How many of you right now that maybe haven't been in one of my programs, you're like, if the stuff you don't want starts going away, 
How do you think you're going to be? Do you think you're going to be like, woohoo, it's party time? Or do you think you're going to be like, no, I got to control it. I'm really used to and comfortable with that reality and that version of me. Ah, and then have the fear come up and, and try to hold on to that stuff that's trying to go away. Where do you, what do you think you'd be in party time or like, <gasps> I'm going to try to hold on. I got to hold on because it's comfortable. Yes. It's a little uncomfortable. It's in party time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now most people will say, Oh, it's going to be party time. But when you go through it, it's kind of like, Oh, it's is actually happening. Oh no, this is actually happening. And when you get to the other side of actually letting all of that go, it really is party time because you are going to be different. The version of you that's the dominant identity in your world, the one that's functioning, that's got your subconscious aligned with your conscious mind and functioning, that's when the external reality shows up as a full-bodied magical reality, okay? And this takes time. It takes letting go. It takes looking at what's working and what's not working. Because so much of what we've been doing and sometimes what we've learned, maybe we've learned something and sort of applied it in an interesting way because of our mindset, right? We got a belief in there that we can't have something. So we're trying to use some technique, but the belief is, is have, being the filter saying, well, you're doing it right, but you're not being it because you believe you're not worth it or not good enough or something like that. This is all stuff we start to get cleared up in the Transform Yourself program. And the reason I'm mentioning it, because we have some big stuff coming up in the next week, and I wanted to bring your attention to this program. This program literally is a program, and in, in eight to 10 weeks, you can gain momentum and, and go, okay, what don't you want? What do you want? And start being that version of you. All of that imprinting, all of that reprogramming can happen in a matter of a couple of months, such that you are on a new timeline. How many of you guys would like a totally new, maybe not totally, but a new trajectory. Some of you guys might want, hey, I want a whole new trajectory. How many of you guys would love to be on a new timeline where what it is you desire, you're clear about it, but also it's showing up in your life? Would that be interesting to you? Would you be like, well, yeah, of course. Hello, Corey. <laughs> Who wouldn't want that, right? All right, cool. So this is really the specialty that we work with, right, is, is getting people clear on what they don't want and what they do want, getting you connected to your 5D future self, the version of you who doesn't lack, who isn't insecure, who isn't um, doubting themselves, and stepping into that level of confidence for yourself of who you really are. Okay. And this is where we apply energetic mastery. We work with the energies because so much of the time, what we've done is we've gone, yeah, I don't want this, but I want that, but I still am getting the stuff I don't want. Why? Mostly it's mindset, clarity, energetics, subconscious. We've got all these elements we've got to put together. And once we do this and you know how to do this, it's kind of like you have a remote control to be able to create what you would like. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't really work like, oh, I'm going to press channel 12 and I'm going to get the new Mercedes. It doesn't really work like that. But when you trust yourself and you have that confidence, you go, all right, this is what I would like. Oh, man, what's it going to be like to be driving that Mercedes? I actually did this with my Lexus that I got. Um, God, what year was that? That was when I moved to San Diego. So that was nine, almost 10 years ago. I was driving around a clunker of a car, a, Santa, a Hyundai Santa Fe, but it was old and it was a clunker. And it was, it hardly worked. I'm surprised I even got it to work as long as I did. And I, I went and I was like, you know what? I want a different car. Let me go drive a Lexus. And I drove that Lexus. And so that experience gave me the energy of what I wanted to experience driving. So what I did is every time, so instead of like, oh, I'm, I don't have any money, I don't have enough money to buy a new car, I had a terrible credit, um, and my whole family says, oh, you don't need luxury car, that's too much, so I have programmed with all of that stuff, right, but I went, you know what, I want that experience, I don't care about my past, I don't care about 
anything else, I'm going to have this. And so what ended up happening is every time I was driving my clunker of a car that hardly had any rev to it, I'd say to myself, I said, all right, what energy can I be in that's driving that Lexus? Okay. Because driving the Lexus was like driving a cloud. That's why I love Lexus so much. This is driving a cloud. I'm like, oh, this experience is so wonderful, right? You never feel any bumps. This is great. The seats feel amazing. And I'm like, I want to drive in my cloud. Okay. So every time I'd be like, yeah, what energy can I be in right now to be driving in my Lexus? Okay. I had no way to get the Lexus. None. There was no feasible pathway. But what I started saying was that I don't want to be in this situation anymore where I can't buy a new car. I don't want to be in this situation where I have to drive a car that was literally unsafe. And I want to be able to have this experience of being able to drive in a yummy and lovely way. I don't know what else to call it, like a satisfying drive, right? So I would do that. And in a moment, I would feel what it was feeling like to drive a Lexus, even though I was in the Hyundai. Okay. And so I did that for about a year and a half. Uh, it took a while. And long story short, I ended up, um, it, it was super magical because a guy I was dating ended up getting a loan for the car and I got the car that I wanted and I paid it all off. Okay. That led me on a completely different trajectory because I was now being the version of me who was willing to allow all the resources to come in to have it versus me trying to linearly figure out how I was going to do all the things. Now, there were a number of other pathways that that could have showed up for me. I could have cleaned up my credit and I could have, you know, made the more money and all those things. Right. But instead, it showed up this totally different way that was completely unexpected. I had no expectations of this guy doing it. He totally offered it. Right. And so when we are clear about the experience we want to have, right, and allow all the hows, we hear this all the time, allow the how it's going to show up to be the universe's job. And then you're confident in following your awareness, it will show up every single time. Maybe or maybe not on your time frame, but it will show up every single time. Okay. So what do you, what's your takeaway so far from this? Getting clear. What don't you want? Okay. If you don't want that, then what is the experience of this over here? What do you want? And who are you being about it? Are you being the version of you that's going to have that or not? Okay. Great questions to start asking yourself. All right. So we've got, I've got a new Range Rover. I want no debt financing cash only. (laughs) Okay. Now, and even with that, like if that works for you, that's a very specific thing. I want no debt, no ca- uh, no financing, cash only. Great, if that works. If it's not working for you, then what we ask is, okay, how else can I have this that actually works for me? Okay. And that's when we open it up. And that's where we really got to trust. All right. Okay, just taking a look at your whole new reality, whole new reality. All right, fantastic. Well, party time and whole new reality. That's awesome. (laughs) You guys are great. You guys are great. So what are your takeaways here? Now, what I would recommend you do is make a list, get out some paper, make a list. What don't you want? Okay. What are you you done with? Done. Okay. Because in that space of being really just done with something and also done with the way you're being with it, and this is what I, I don't see a lot of people addressing is, is how are you being with it? Are you being complaining? Are you being a victim to it? Are you blaming versus taking responsibility and saying, okay, this is how I'm being about it. That is true power. And that will have you gain even more clarity of stepping into this magical creator that you are. Every single one of you is a magical creator, every single one. Okay. Okay. If you're in my world at all, you're a magical creator. How many of you guys know that? How many of you guys know that you're a magical creator? Okay. We've got to learn how to create as a magical creator. Okay. All right. We've got a bunch of Range Rovers in here. Test drove a Range Rover Sport to get the energy. Exactly, Jackie. Jackie. I love Lexus too. Yeah. All right, fantastic. So we are going to have some really cool stuff coming up with uh, Transform Yourself. Oh, hold on one second, let me bring it up. 
And I think you guys are going to like what we have going on. So what I'll do is I'm going to share a few things over the next couple of weeks um, with you all about um, what this transformation looks like. Because what we really want to create, like I said before, is opening you to the space of who you really are and how you really create. And mostly what happens is people go to this point where they they, they, they do all the things, they do all the manifestation tools, they do all the tips, tricks, and hacks, but they get to a certain point. We had magic show up before, right? We've had things show up, otherwise we wouldn't be here because it works sometimes. We got to get it working consistently, okay? And that consistency is more of the inner work than it is doing the things, okay? And so when we can couple all of this together and work on that internal shift, it's really your own transformation. And, and it, it truly is sometimes like going from the caterpillar into the uh, into the chrysalis where you get into the goo phase and you're like, ah, and you be you step into the butterfly that you are because that's your natural state. That's the natural evolution. And this is what I call going from the 4D consciousness to the 5D consciousness because the 4D consciousness is where you've worked hard, you've hustled, you've done all the goal setting, you've, you've maybe had a lot of success in your life, or maybe you were like me and didn't feel like you had a lot of success in your life, but you knew something else was possible. And that's where we go, all right, this version of you, this identity, from the 4D identity that's like, I'm having breakthroughs, I'm going to clear everything, I've got it going on, right? There's a whole different version of you that's going to work with energy that is a manifesting maniac where you start going, oh yeah, I can actually have everything. Who are you if you can have anything and everything that you could ever desire? Ponder on that question. Okay, and stay tuned for what we have coming up in the next week. It's super exciting. I am super excited and I so appreciate you guys joining me live. It is so fun to have you guys live on, me, on here with me and everybody watching the replays. So I'm going to say goodbye from here. I would love to know what your takeaways are from this and offer us some feedback because one of the things I know for sure is that if you're engaged in this conversation, and you want to have all of what you desire in your life as your life and become that version of you. Number one, it's already on your path. It's already in your timeline. And number two, we can actually help you get there faster. Okay. All right, you guys have a freaking magical day. Thanks for joining me. And I wonder what else is available now. Bye guys.